There's like black soot at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That that's a lot of the stuff you don't want going through your motor. You just, just either take a rag and get the bulk of it. But if I need to, I clean it. I use a, a brake cleaner, brake cleaning and an aerosol, and it just blasts it out. It just eats it. It eats oils, cleans it like brand new. Oh wow! In just seconds, rather than sit there and wrestle with oily rags and whatever. And it also evaporates very quickly. That's a great tip. That looks good as new. Yep. Great. But another thing to consider, I, I, you wouldn't have noticed it until you maybe you re reviewed the footage, but I was trying carefully not to spray any on this rubber O-ring. Oh, yeah. That's yes. your seal. Okay. Brake clean makes rubber swell up like a balloon. Oh, really? So this will actually become big enough, not crazy big, like I'm exaggerating with the balloon thing, but just big enough that I can't get it back in. Well, that's a good tip to know. Okay. So you either dig it out with a, with a pick or something sharp, but I'm careful not to nick it and get it out of the way completely or just do like what I do where I hang it upside down so that it doesn't run uphill and careful where you spray. All right. Because there's also another O-ring here. If you see any tears in it, that's where it's going to leak. Because a lot of people get confused when it leaks out of here, they don't know where the leak is coming from. So they'll, they'll put silicone on there and try and gum it up and it just makes a mess for nothing. Meanwhile, you should replace one of your two O-rings. All right.